Okay, hello people. Uh, can, can you see me? Uh, um, so, um, today, um, we're going to show you how to draw something on paper. Everyone's going to draw a cat and then make it into, I guess you call it, I guess a plaque. I guess that's a good word for it. Um, and like 3D print it with a color change. It'll be pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, so I guess we'll start now. So let's start and okay. I'm let's just draw. gonna draw this. Mm -hmm. Turn it off. Okay, we're gonna do this now. We're gonna do, uh, I was drawing it. Oh yeah, make sure it's a black marker. You you want a black marker, or else it um, won't work. Okay, so we're gonna scan this now. Um, Evelyn, you open that up. Into the scanner it goes. So yeah, you do need a scanner to do this, okay? Okay, uh, let's see, how do you scan this? Okay, scan, computer. Okay, send. Okay, I think it's scanning now. Broken, huh? Okay, it's scanning. Okay, I know my microphone is not is not the best, but um, so we're here uh, with our picture that we scanned. Um, and so yeah, and now I'll save it, and then I'll meet you soon. Okay, so we have our file in an SVG converter. You have to convert it to SVG. So, uh, let's start converting it. Um, converting. Um, okay. Okay, so, uh, let's drag our file and we convert. Also, I'm in Tinkercad. Oh. So we might need to scale it down a little. I'll just put 10. There we go. Now we'll import it. Um, if it'll import. It might take a little bit. Let's rename it. Um, to cat. No, kitty. Oh, wait. Kitty. There we go. Put underscore right there. Okay. I'll come back when it's imported. Okay, so, um, here's our cat. You can see it's not perfect, but pretty good. Like, that's literally our drawing, and now it's in Tinkercad here. Okay, we're going to scale it down a little. Hold down shift to equally scale it down. Um, now, so there's two ways you can do this here. I'll show you both ways. Um, the first way is um, to just put a block here. Let's see. Um, let's do that. Maybe right there. Okay. Um, let's scale this cat just down a little. Now, if you push C, then you can grab this dot and put it on top. No, we need this bigger here. Um, yeah, so do that. Okay, um, now, if you 
uh, select both of them and push L, then you can uh, center it. Not centered. And that's the first way you can do it. Okay, um, also, if you want to, you can round it. There, so the edges aren't sharp. So that's the first way to do it. The second way, let's just copy this. Um, if you push D, it'll go to the ground. Uh, so we're going to copy this again. <laughs> um, so Tinkercad has this cool thing where you can fill in your SVG image. It might take a little bit, but... See, and then uh, you can grab this, do C, and put this on top. And then... Push, select both of them and push L, and then center them. And now you have like a key chain, a keychain type thing, which is pretty cool. I think I'm gonna do this one right here. Looks pretty cool. That one is just kind of a cat in a rectangle, but this one is like the shape of it. So we'll do this guy here, but you can do this one. Yeah, so experiment with it and see what you can do. Uh, and I'll export it and then, yeah. Okay, uh, I'm in Cura and I have our little cat here. Um, I think that's a good size. Um, so now, um, I'm printing this on the Ender 3 S1 Pro, and to do that, to do a color change, I'm planning to do a color change. There's a little trick you have to do to do the color change. Okay, so the little trick is, um, so to pause at height, uh, post-processing, um, uh, it occurs after the layer. So you want it on, uh, in our case, you want it on layer 4 because um, you want it to pause after that. So then it's a different color for the next layer. So, uh, yeah, so uh, now go here, go to extensions and post-processing and open the modified G code. Okay, so now what you do is, uh, okay, do pause at height here, and uh, change height to layer number, and we want it uh, to pause after layer 4, so we'll do 4, and then change this to BQ, and this is just where it will park the print head and the bed, um, so I just like to put this at 10. Uh, and then change the standby temperature to 200, uh, so you can change the filament. And then make sure you put M300 in both of these boxes, or else it will not work. Um, and, uh, that's all. So, yep. Okay. Now let's slice this again. And now it has that, it'll pause, so it's a different color. We'll load this onto the printer now. Okay, so let's turn this on. Okay, by the way, so for the base of the cat, we're doing gray, which is already on the printer, just a nice gray. gray. And then... Um, we'll have fiery red on the top. Yeah, we'll have this cool silk filament on the top. Fiery red silk, I guess. Okay, so get the little card out here, and should I start heating this up? Yeah, let's, um, wait, uh, okay, it's heating up. Okay, put the card in, oh, wrong way, okay. Um, what should we name it? I guess we can just call it Kitty Cat. Okay, let's save it. Okay. Okay, um, put this back in here. Where oh, is the slot? Why can't I find the slot? Oh, oh, I found it. Found it. 
Okay. That's in. Now I'll get this off. Okay, um. Now, print kitty cat here. Okay, it's started. Um, show you when it's printing. Okay, it's kind of hard to see, but it is printing it. It's on its first layer, filling it in right now. Yep. Okay, the filament change is ready. Kind of. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna hand this to Evie so you can watch me film it. From Sky's view. Alright, let's change the film. Okay, so first what you do is take it out and your standby temperature should be 200, so it's easy to take out. Now, okay. Grab this. Now grab this one. Okay, now, you might have to snip the end. I think this can go in, though. And just push that in. Now, you can't do the, uh, you can't do the extruder thing. You have to just push it manually. It's kind of a pain, but that's the only way you can do it. Okay, it's coming out. Okay, I think that's about the right color now. Okay. Okay, now there's a little trick. I have the camera again. There's a little trick you have to do here. So, um, as you can see, even though it's paused, it still says it's going right now. So you have to push stop, but then when it says, do you want to stop printing, you push no. And then you can push play and it will resume now. There it goes. Okay. Okay, look at that. It looks awesome. Okay, so it's done. It looks awesome. Push the check mark. Okay. And let's just turn that off. Here, um, Evie, you hold it okay. and I'll take it off. Get a good view. Okay. Uh. The plate's still kind of warm, so it might bend when I take it off. Maybe you should wait a little bit. Yes, we'll wait a little bit. Okay, um, it's cooled down. It's coming off now. Um, Don't break the tail. Okay. Wow. Here it I'm is. Um, I'm not filming it. I will hold it then. Okay, it yeah. looks awesome. So there you go. Yeah. That's how you print it. Yeah. Okay, so I also colored my cat. Yeah, isn't it great? She colored it while it was printing. So, hope you uh, learned uh, how to do uh, how to make your drawing into a 3D print from this tutorial. And hope you liked it. Bye. Bye. Uh, bye. <laughs>